Um, how you doing, Lavinia? I'm great. Do you want to uh, start off with your official um, intro? Okay, so. And what's the name of your show? The show is called Miss Jackson's Social Experiment. Okay. <laughs> I have to make sure I got it right. Yeah. yeah. We're still kind of new. The, the, the show has taken on different titles. Yes. Or has evolved as far as its title. Yep. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> where are we starting at? Uh, where are we starting at? We had a list. Well, first, welcome to the Miss Jackson Social Experiment. Um, if you think you're going to like what you see, um, please take the time to click like leave a comment, tell us how we can improve the show, um, tell us what you want to hear, and then share it. Because we're open to whatever you got to say right now because it's in development. So. Oh, and don't forget to um, is it like, comment. And share. Share. It's a fourth. Subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Okay, yeah. I, we definitely need subscribers. See, you know, I'm learning as we go along because I got – Three out of four, 75%. That's not bad for today. <laughs> All right. So uh, we did put together a list of, of, of topics for the day. Yeah. And um, do you want to start with, which one do you want to start with? Um, I don't know. Waffle House? <laughs> Woo. I mean, and I like me some grits, though. I'm just saying. It makes it real hard. Like, because I really, really like Waffle House grits. Like, it's depressing. Now, do you get coffee when you uh, go to Waffle House? Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Do I get coffee? Yeah. I mean, if you're getting your grits, do you also get coffee? No, I get an orange juice or water. Like, I don't like... Their coffee sucks. Okay. I don't, I don't ever... Like... Okay, so... Here's my Waffle House story. And is there a hashtag associated with this? What, with Waffle House? Yeah. Or any, I mean, just keep those in mind when we get to some of these. Okay, yeah, like I didn't, I didn't think about a hashtag, but it was, I think it was a hashtag for Waffle House. I think it was just Waffle, I was thinking it was hashtag with Waffle House. Okay. But this is my story about how I got introduced to Waffle House. Okay, for those of y'all that don't know, I'm from this small town with, that has seven traffic lights, a Walmart, you know, one McDonald's, one Burger King, that's about it. So I had never been to a Waffle House until 1995. This is after I had gone to college in Maryland, and no, there was no Waffle House up there. So I'm selling books and magazines door to door. That's a whole nother story about crazy in love. But anyway, um, so we stop in Columbia, South Carolina. And the hotel is situated literally across the parking lot from Waffle House. So they're like, now my crew is all black, just so y'all know. Um, it was a new experience. And so they're like, what are you going to eat? And I was like, so what's in there? And all these black folks, most of them are from the South, like much further South than me, like Georgia, Mississippi. They're like, what do you mean? You ain't never been in a Waffle House. I was like, I don't really even eat grits. And they're like, what? You don't eat grits? I was like, if I do, I put sugar on them. Then they had to clown me and make fun of me because I put sugar on my grits because I didn't even know what it was. So every day that I was there because I was just that broke because I was just starting with my books and magazines and I wasn't making any money because it was strictly commissioned. Um, I would go into Waffle House and get a bowl of grits because it costs like a dollar. And that's about what I could afford. Please, sir. I want some more. So that was my breakfast every day for like a month. And what year was this? 1995. Okay. The year after I graduated from college. Yeah. So that was how I got introduced to Waffle House and why I loved their grits. I wouldn't eat. And I still, I wasn't big on eating meat then, and I wasn't big on eating everything else, but I would definitely eat their grits. Like, I really like their grits. So, as far as this story is concerned. It makes me disconcerted. It makes me sad because 
I've been to a couple of Waffle Houses. I've not had these experiences that I've seen, whether it's in Tennessee or in, was it Alabama, Georgia, somewhere down there where um, the, 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 the first one was a murder, mass murder, and the second one was where um, the young woman was arrested. arrested for asking for a plastic fork. Is that the story? Because I heard that they came in there drunk. Okay. And rowdy. From the video that I saw, she wasn't rowdy. She wasn't drunk. She was sitting there and she's asking for a fork, a plastic fork. And even if you are coming in and you are drunk and rowdy, which, first of all, this is Waffle House. Who else is open at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning? You have very limited choices after drinking, you know, after partying. You kind of know your clientele. Let's let's just let's just go there and be real. Like, come on now, come on now. Like, where else do you go? You go to IHOP, you go to Denny's, you go to Waffle House, and Waffle House is undercuts the price with everybody else. So you definitely go go to Waffle House if you broke and you drunk. Like, you gonna go there to sober up? Like, come on now. And I get what they're saying about being drunk and rowdy, but she, what I saw was she was very calm. Very, very calm. She didn't have any issues. She was just asking for stuff. And she was sitting there in this, like, cute little tube dress. And, oh, boy, the police officer didn't put his hand on her shoulder. Didn't touch her hand. Both of his hands were going, like, in places they shouldn't be going. Like, why is your hand going all up over her boob and, like, like up her thigh and stuff? Like, yo, what you doing, son? Like. I know she fine and all, but you don't need to be, like, flexing. Mm-mm, don't be flexing that. That's not cute. So that was a that was an issue for me. Because it, here, I think we have, what, two Waffle Houses? Two or three in Greensboro? We have more than that. Okay. I mean, there's one up here on Randleman. And there's another one here on Emsley. Okay. Um, and there's probably got to be a few more, you know, sprinkled throughout the, uh, the, okay, the so, city. Okay, so, yeah. But, I mean, it was this about poor policing? Was it about not knowing how to de-escalate the situation? See. Was this, did she have, should she have left? By Felicia. Um, should she have argued? Because... We're talking about a 50 cent, what, spoon or fork? It's not even that. It's like two cents. Okay, so I was in a in the Waffle House on High Point Road at one point. Late in the evening. I don't know why. Recently. Well, within the last, ye- within the last year. What you looking for? Looks like this battery's about to go dead, which is already ridiculous. But go ahead. Um, it was like, like within the last year. And they called the cops on somebody. Now, they were being... Rude and belligerent. Not that they weren't paying, but they were just, you know, there was. So it became like standard. I think it's standard protocol. And they usually have cops around at Waffle House. Like, like they, that's what they do. But to answer your question, I really think that if somebody is coming in and if they are belligerent and you're not willing to. Um, serve them some food or ask them to leave politely or give them a minute to gather themselves, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to do that and your first instinct is to call the cops, there's something wrong, especially if she's not, if she's not destroying property. Like really, she's not destroying property. She's sitting and you can, there's freedom of speech, people. You can say whatever you want to. It is when you do something, like you take physical action to destroy, hurt, do anything, that it becomes a problem. So do you think this was a trespassing issue, um, kind of like with Starbucks? No, I don't think it's a... Uh, no, I don't so think So Starbucks it's, is a completely different situation, or they're kind of one and the same because one, they do involve people of color and the police. Right. Being, being called for something which you would think would be something small and, and, and insignificant. Right. And and it when you say trespassing, it's interesting because trespassing in a public place, how do you trespass 
literally in a public establishment. You can't. Like, if it's open to the public, a restaurant is open to the public. It is not a pri- it is not, it's not, it's not private. You serve the general public. How do you trespass? I can understand loitering. I get what loitering, you know, like, what, but how do you trespass? You can't. Because you're there to, and especially with, with, with Starbucks, people go there to hang out in the first place. You don't have to buy a cup of coffee to go sit in Starbucks. But we do. We can't even be in Starbucks in certain neighborhoods um, for longer than like five seconds before somebody going to call the cops on us. You know, and it doesn't matter what we wear. Okay. Um, it looks like uh, the owner can deny access to that public place of all sorts of reasons, including for safety and security. Unless the area were fenced off, your walking onto it is not trespassing. However, remaining on it after being asked to leave by someone with authority over it is trespassing. Okay. Right. I, I get that. But see, there's interesting that you read that because first it says the owner. Then it switches to say somebody with authority. Right. The owner, nine times out of ten, is never on premises to be able to determine. So they have to gaff off the um, responsibility to somebody else. Again, you're walking into a public place. You're going to get a coffee. You're going to get food. Whatever you're going to get, I'm not trespassing. If you ask me to leave and I have yet to order anything, yet to, and again, it's okay for me to sit here. There's not a big sign up that says, if you are here longer than 15 minutes, we're going to ask you to leave. Now, you've been in places like that where they say, if you've been waiting for longer than 15 minutes, you know, or 20 minutes, please check to be, you know. But if you're coming there and you're waiting for your party, you can sit there and wait for your party for 30 minutes to an hour. Then you are not required. Right. Right. You're not required. So right. the whole Starbucks thing bugs me out because it just shows you that we can't do what we think we can. Like, it's post-racial bullshit. Because we can't do, you know, what we think we can. And I was talking to somebody, I don't remember who I was talking to, was telling me that when they put, there's two things, when they put Starbucks, when Starbucks decides to gentrify, they go into our neighborhoods and they make sure that the outlets are like, you can't really get to them. They make them hard to access. Okay, so you're talking about they, uh, the power outlets. Yeah, the power outlets. Cause and you, when, they go into, when they go into neighborhoods that they're gentrifying? Yeah. Really? Okay, yeah. So just, 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 just flow with me here. So they go in, they make sure the outlets are hard to get to, and they obscure the bathrooms, like the bathrooms aren't in the same places. So they're making it harder for folks to come in. On top of that, as soon as you put in a Starbucks, the property values shoot up. There was a comparison between Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, and I did see this somewhere online. Um, and Dunkin' Donuts, somebody from Dunkin' Donuts said, I, we can put a Dunkin' Donuts up, but our property, the surrounding property, does not go up. The value does not go up compared to when you stick a Starbucks in. So it is literally about raising the property value when you put a Starbucks in. It's really about gentrification. So that, that's the first step to say, and we're about to wipe yo, wipe you out. Possibly, maybe. Yeah. Because if you're already in that community, I, I give you for example, uh, my cousin um, in New York um, has a, she bought a condo a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I she may have paid two hundred thousand dollars for it. Okay. Now it's worth four hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And that's because the property values have increased in that particular community. Right. So isn't that a good thing? It, I mean, it, outside of the fact that her taxes would potentially also increase because her, her house is now valued at more. But it's, to me, it sounds like she's doubled up. Okay. If she were to sell her house, which she's in the process of doing. Okay. So, right. It's, it's a good thing. If, but for those people who live in the neighborhoods where they place the Starbucks, like not 
not just the ones in the mall or whatever. Okay, let's say it's in Uptown. Okay, so if they came and put a Starbucks in Uptown, the property value surrounding that Starbucks is going to go up. <laughs> This is Weston, and Weston hadn't made a purchase yet, you guys. So uh, I would like Starbucks right here on Redondo, right on Artesia, and Hawthorne. This right man now. right here said he hasn't made. He said he hasn't made a, a purchase yet. He's in line to make a purchase, and you guys haven't get you guys. You guys had gave him the code. Right? Is it that what you did? Right no, this is not your business. Though. This is not your this business. Is business. This is not I your business, though. Okay, you may be the store manager, but you're not right the you're not you're not in charge. Not to be you need to I'm not in, I'm not allowed to be in here anymore. Yeah, Why? Are, you see, they're so mad. Why are they upset with me, Weston? What did I do? I, I just tried to use a bathroom like you did, and they gave it to you. They, I, yeah. Is it my skin color? 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 I couldn't use the bathroom, but Weston could. Amen. I feel it may be my skin color. Hey, but this is this is about to be on social media. It's about to go in the shade room.